what you doing? Oh, no. Hand those to Momo. Thank you. It's your broom. Come here, Doug. Okay, Morgan. You're fine. <laughs> he said what? <laughs> Come on. Okay, see ya. Bye. All right, guys. Let me mute this TV. I'm editing last night's. Let's open these two. Oh, much better. I'm editing last night's haul, which you all seen in the last blog. And the clips, you can hear the TV in the background. And I'm going to be honest here, you guys. I was a drunky monkey. Also, um, Noah is wandering around and everybody's trying to get him to stop doing things. So, you're probably going to hear that in the background. But... We have another haul because when Morgan goes to the vacation on vacation, she likes to get herself things. It is a vacation after all. So today we did go out. I did get the orange beach sweater. I did not get the sunglasses just because I didn't like the way they looked on my face. I've got a haul here for you guys. And, but first I want to talk about the Flora Bama Bar and Grill. This place is so cool. It is where you can stand in Florida and Alabama at the same time. When I tell you guys that their food, all the food that we've eaten here so far, we've been so lucky that we've searched on Yelp and stuff. It's been so good. And also, I want to talk about Hurricane Elsa. So, we woke up this morning with flash flood warnings. It was raining. It was terrible. And it rained probably until 2 o'clock. It is now sunny, beautiful outside. So, we're going to try to take advantage of that. Um, and we're just going to cook in tonight, um, and make tacos. Hold on. Okay. Sorry guys. My post might got here. Go down to the pool because it's been raining all day. We were forced to go out and shop forced. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is the first thing I got this at the surf style in Gulf Shores. If you are unfamiliar, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach are like two miles from one another. So it's really convenient. Um, so yeah, this is really nice. This is another one of those butter sweaters that are just I could never have enough. So this is the first thing I got everything else laid out on the bed and I'm gonna show you what else I got. Okay, so this is another thing from the surf style. The surf style that we went to was in Gulf Shores, Alabama. This is so soft, but this uh, surf styles that we went to in Gulf Shores, Alabama is two stories and it literally has an escalator inside of it. So nice. But this is the first uh, shirt and I got it in an extra large because this is really big. I don't know if it's, you can see on camera, how big this shirt is, but it's actually like super big. So, got that. Then we went to Flora, Bama, which is the place I was telling you guys about where you can stand in Florida and Alabama at once. And I got this cute little ashtray that says Flora, Bama on it. So, it's a lounge package and oyster bar. And across the street is the bar and grill, Flora, Bama bar and grill. And I just thought it was cute. Screw the cracker. Polly wants a bushwhacker. <laughs> Floribama, do it with us on the line. I just thought this was super cute. And then here is, ah, uh, uh, This is the um, super soft, I cannot even explain how soft, sweater from the Orange Beach Shop. So nice. It does have a pocket here at the front. It's super lightweight. Um, and I think this was like $65. So this was more bougie, but so nice so that is the new merch noah what are you doing did you poop no he didn't i pee he he said, I, I, I thought he said i pee i pee yeah Margarita. <laughs> Good morning, Chris's birthday vlog. Today we are starting part three of the vlog. Weather right now is it's supposed to be like scattered showers, like that's the vibe. So, but there are yellow, red, and purple flags out, which if you're unfamiliar means red is like high, like tide, like strong waves, like intense. Yellow is like medium. So with medium and strong together, that's extreme. And then um, also 
purple, which is marine life, dangerous marine life. So we're probably just going to be walking the edge of the beach today because we want to go down there. It's our last full day at the beach. We leave in the morning. So I know we're gonna definitely take advantage of the beach today, um, but it's also Chris's birthday and we have some plans for that. But yeah, welcome to Chris's birthday vlog. My cup of coffee. It's been a morning ritual that I'm gonna miss sitting out here watching the beach as I drink it, but let's make some BLTs and get this vlog started. Cheers. See, they hung a red and purple. And then we, there's a red and purple. And then we got red and yellow. And then they got a red. And down there, which is also a phoenix, has got a red. to the beach right now super excited because it has stayed clear father-in-law got it for him. Look how cute it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, um, it has stayed clear. By the way, here is like a full on view of that construction. It's been here the whole time. And honestly, not only that, 
but we had an accident in a chair, a chair fall apart. Like there's been some shit going down in here. So I really think that we should honestly try to get it. I'm gonna do a, like a whole freaking story time because bitch, that right there, story time coming soon. Anyways, um, we just spent probably three hours at the ocean and at the pool. And tonight is Chris's birthday dinner, so I want to get dressed up. I've not gotten dressed up one time the whole time we've been at the beach. Just because it's been raining and it's been like last minute things because we have Noah and, you know, everything goes around Noah's schedule, obviously, because he has to nap. He's the baby. He's the baby. Like, there's no way to control, like, how long he naps. If we wake him up before he's done napping it could literally like there would just be no point in even going out anyways and also matt this is matt and whitney's vacation as well and the only way they're going to have a good time is if their son's having a good time obviously so let me move because this construction in the background is really ugly oh yes that is much much better anyways so tonight is chris's birthday dinner we are finally going to go out and get dressed up also i don't really tan on my legs always been a thing so I did bring spray tan so I can possibly look halfway decent in my outfit that I have picked out for tonight um, but yeah we're just gonna hang out for a little bit let Noah take his nap I'm gonna get ready um, I may include like a either a clip of what my makeup looks like when I'm done or it will be like a sped through, not really a descriptive makeup tutorial, but just like what my makeup looks like.
All right, guys, so I didn't show you the whole tutorial because everybody was coming back up from the pool to get ready to go out for Chris's birthday dinner. But this is it. That's the finished look. It's still sunny and still no rain, so hopefully it will stay that way and maybe we can not swim or something when we get back. I'm not sure. I don't know how long we're gonna be gone, but I will fill you guys in with food and other clips here shortly. So, I don't know. Let's take a picture of it. <laughs> for, for a smash into it. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so we are back from dinner in the arcade. You got no clips inside of the arcade because when I pulled my phone out one time to do a clip, I was told that there was no video inside of the arcade. So, you didn't get anything in there. Ron John's, which is the only other place we went to, was packed. We had the worst dinner ever. If you come here, do not go to hold on let me ask my sister-in-law if she remembers where did we eat dinner at what was the name of that place carvers do not eat dinner at carvers we wanted to go to big mike's because it is like the place everybody like around here wants to go like it's the number one stakes other oh, fireworks going off um it's the number one stakes in alabama like they're notorious for their stakes that's where we wanted to go um obviously for chris's birthday over there um but they had a three hour wait at 4 30 at 4 30. so um do not go to Carver's. We went there um, to literally nobody in the restaurant. Nobody. And the guy, like, is like, well, let me see what I can do. Like, acting like they had, like, all these, you know, reservations. The whole time we were there, there was maybe two parties that came in. It was completely empty when we got there. Our bill was, like, close to, well, with tip, it was $400. When I tell you guys, okay, a sirloin is $19. Eight ounce sirloin is $19. I ordered my medium rare. Chris, what'd you order yours? Chris ordered his medium and his his was probably medium rare. Mine was mine was mine was well done. Mine was 100 percent well done. Um it just was not good. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. So now I'm just going to roll the pictures we got today down at the pool. And I'm also going to roll the videos.